Hi guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Great to have you. Did you know, the first company to make commercially viable lithium ion batteries was Sony, all the way back in 1991. That was really quite an impressive feat and it put us on the path to where we are today. Now, spies have recently caught the Sony S Vision or Vision S prototype undergoing development. But the question is, will the car make it to production? Now, the fact that this car exists at all actually blows and baffles my mind. Why? Well, the main reason is because Sony has recently sold their battery division to. So it appears as though Sony's been developing an electric car for several years. And during that period of time, they thought it would be a great idea to just sell their battery manufacturing division to someone else. So I'm not sure what they were thinking because I think that there is going to be an enormous shortage of lithium ion batteries over the next five years. And currently, a perfect example of that is the situation we're in with Tesla, for example, who have way more orders than they can fill. And Ford, Ford's new F-150 electric utility vehicle, electric truck. Well, it went on sale recently. Well, not on sale, but you're able to pre-order it as of a few days ago. They've already pre-ordered well over 100,000, but Ford are only on track to make 50,000 in 2022. They just don't have the battery supply. So battery supply is a huge, huge issue. And it's the reason that many of the awesome cars in the world are only being sold in Europe and not in other countries because there simply is enough battery supply. So if Sony were planning on making this electric vehicle, which reportedly will have a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is enormous, then why on earth did they sell their battery manufacturing? It just doesn't add up. But let's look at the car. Sony Vision S electric car was spied testing at a facility in Europe earlier this week. It's unclear whether the Vision S will be badged as a Sony product or sold under a different brand name, but it appears the battery powered vehicle is edging closer to a production reality. Guys, what do you think of the looks? I think it actually looks in the rear a little bit like a BYD Han, and in the front, hmm, I'm not so sure. Tell me what you think. Now, it's powered by dual 200 kilowatt electric motors, so that would give them a total system output of 400 kilowatt. That's a lot of power. So it's expected that the car will hit 100 kilometers an hour from standstill in well under five seconds, I would say even under four seconds. This is going to be a fast car if it does make it to production. Details of the car's battery have yet to be unveiled, but rumors say that the tech giant is working towards offering a long driving range and fast charging speeds to rival Tesla. Now, it's pretty damn obvious this is going to have a long driving range. It's got a 200 kilowatt hour battery. It's going to have a massive range. I suspect maybe around about a thousand kilometers. So, it appears as though if Sony are making this car, they're going to make a pretty damn cool car. Now, inside the car, Sony has fitted a number of high definition screens into the dash for infotainment, which the company described as an immersive video and sound system. It's reported the Vision S offers level 2 plus or semi autonomous driving including radar cruise control, self-park, and auto lane changing, yet with around 40 sensors built into the vehicle, it's expected Sony is working on, working on developing level 4 autonomous driving capability, potentially with the idea to sell to other car makers. Now, Apple have been searching for a car maker to build their future car. Sony has tasked an Austrian company, Magnusteer, with building the Vision S, the very same company responsible for manufacturing the Mercedes-Benz G-Class, the BMW 5 Series, and the BMW Z4 and Toyota Supra Twins. Sony has yet to confirm whether the Vision S will enter production, instead calling the vehicle a test bed for innovative technological development. Now, I think if Sony has tasked Austrian company Magnus there with building the Vision S, then it's very likely this vehicle will enter production. They wouldn't be talking to Magna unless this was serious. Magna Magna is not a, a company you play around with. They're a very serious business and they're not going to be interested in 
building a one-off vehicle. They build production vehicles at scale. I believe that that indicates this vehicle will go to produ into production. However, for what brand? It may be for another brand. That's possible. Because like I said, it's a baffling move for Sony to be working on a car for years, then decide to sell their battery technology a year ago. It just doesn't add up. So something here makes me wonder. I wonder if maybe this is a car for Apple. I don't know, but that also doesn't make sense either. Regardless of what this car is for, or the brand will come out with, it's going to cost a lot of money. Two 200 kilowatt electric motors hooked up to a 200 kilowatt hour battery costs money, especially when you don't make the battery yourself, you don't make the motors yourself, you don't even make the car yourself, Magna's making it for you. So it's going to be a pricey car. That said, it'll be a pretty cool car with a huge range, and I believe that there will be a market for this kind of car. I don't think any of the Euros are going to have a 1,000 kilometer range car for at least the next 18 months. So if they get this car out to market quickly, it's very possible this car could have potential. Guys, what do you think about it? Do you think Sony's going to release this car? Let me know in the comments below. Now, I believe this car looks far too production ready to be a concept. It looks like a real vehicle. Often a concept vehicle will look radical or crazy or have unfinished edges or those sorts of things. To me, this really does look like a production level vehicle. Therefore, I believe it will be produced and it's just a matter of time before it is produced by Magnus there. Now, having a more of a close look at the car, I actually think it looks a bit like a Model 3 at the front. I think it looks good. I'd love to have a drive of this when they come out one day. Now, hopefully this channel becomes big enough that I can start test driving cars every day. That'd be awesome. Guys, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. I'll keep on bringing you the best videos I can. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.